What's up, everybody? This is Brad, and we're back with Pokemon Scarlet. And the thing is, we last left off after I captured a Reshiram, or Reshiram, whatever. Um, and so after that, I decided to work on filling the Blueberry Pokedex. And I'm actually not far from the 200 we need to do the Perrin missions. So, then I realized something. I'm going to be a little bit short without upgrading another biome in the terrarium. And that's when I was going to go to the league room, the league club room, and um, get it upgraded. But I noticed this mark here and figured that means that's going to be a cutscene. So I clicked it and sure enough, a cutscene started, but I shut the game off because I'd saved it right before I did this. Just in case it's something important to story uh, story line wise, I can't talk. But um, anyway, let's do this. Let's see what uh, Cyrano has to say. I can't remember how I made him sound. There you are, Brad. Just the person I was looking for. I heard the news. You're the new BB League champion, am I right? I'll admit it, I'm blown away. Inviting you to this academy was the best decision I've made recently. So, now that you've had some time to get comfortable here, how do you find Blueberry Academy? Are you having fun? Yeah, sure. For the most part, I guess. Good, good. Just what I like to hear. Anyway, there's a small favor I'd like to ask of you, Brad. You see, the whole Academy's become so much more lively and energetic since you came here. And that got me thinking, maybe we should have even more people come from Poundea. Have them come as special coaches or something. You know a lot of people, right? You've got lots of friends, uh, you've got lots of friends and everything. I mean, like, teachers from your school, gym leaders, that sort of thing. Oh, and any strong friends of yours are also welcome here. Sure. Spoken like a true champion. I knew you were the right person to ask. You can use the club room computer to contact anyone you want to invite. Oh, but it'll cost BP. They'll need to pay for their trip and such. Here's some to get you started. Some free BP. 200, hey. Lots going elsewhere, I think. <laughs> I think I'll arrange for the special coaches to stay in this club room when they're not, uh, when they're not teaching. You should have a chat with them while they're here. Now then, I'll leave it to you. Enjoy. See ya. Okay, so this is how we get the old gym leaders from Paldea over here. While I'm here, let's go ahead and expand a biome. Wait, the secret boss of Blueberry Academy? Which one should we do? Savannah, Canyon, or Polar? Well, let's do the Savannah. It's the one closest to the door. Hello, Terry. Charmander. I already have Charmander. Well, Charizard. Oh, well. That's one short that we won't be, uh, needing. Let's go to the classroom. One of the Elite Fours in here. Brad. Yeah, my thanks for all you've done to help the League Club and to help Kieran. Once you became champion, Kieran withdrew himself entirely from our ranking system. 
though I consider this somewhat sad, it is not as if he and I can no longer meet. More than anything, I am glad he seems to be acting like his former self once more. Indeed, I have been swept up in joy to such an extent that I am prepared or, uh, that I prepared a tremendous amount of flight enabling supplement used in my trial. Please feed your Agius an, uh, an appropriate portion of it whenever you wish to fly. What? You want to fly right now? Please slow down. The supplement was never meant to be eaten in such a large... Coridon will be able to fly now. Permanently. It would seem your Agius has powered up somehow. From the looks of it, I would guess that it has gained the power to fly whenever you wish it to. Well, I suppose this is an acceptable outcome. As it happens, there's a super hard course for my flying, uh, flying time trial. You may attempt it upon clearing the hard course. Feel free to do so when you are ready. Okay. Time for me to go. So long then. So I assume now we can just do whatever. All right, let's go back to the entrance. Let's see what uh, our next snack is. Although I need to check my uh, bag here. Ultra Ball 22. Hello, Snacks Worth. Raiko. <clears throat> Raiko? Why is my shoulder glitching? It's disappearing. Speaking of Raiko, I do recall this one particular encounter when I was a younger feller. Yes, there was a day me and old Raiko went racing up a mountain together. At Raiko, it's no slouch such for sure. Kept dashing past me and taking the lead. I was huffing and puffing and muttering some colorful things as I chased that wily Pokemon. But in the end, we were sitting side by side atop that peak, gazing out above the massive majestic desert that covers the land to the north. He loves that snack you have there. Be sure to give it my best. Okay, so a peak that oversees the desert. Peak that oversees the desert. Whoa. Come back in. Okay. A peak that oversees the desert. I guess it could be up here. Yeah, that's one of the sites. Although, I probably should go buy some Ultra Balls first. Yeah, see? There's the sign. Wait a minute. I thought the rivet. I thought the Tauros were like doing this weird sort of four-legged T pose. All right, hold up. Was that a Silazar? Starting to run out of points and dollars. Yeah, you know what? We're close enough. 
How do I fly? I don't know how to fly. Hold on. I want to see if I can find something that will... How do I fly? fly. I, I gotta know that before we do anything, so give me just a second to look that up. Oh, okay. So while gliding, you do this. Press the left stick in. So now we don't have to climb. We can just fly. That's nice. Wait a minute. That's not right. Is that it? Hold on, my face in the wrong way. It's over there. We can fly to the shrine and see if it's up at the top of this mountain. There's a trainer. Hold up. There was a bug at the top of this mountain. It's got to be over here somewhere. It's raining. I think that's a good sign. Oh, I thought that was a green. I'm like, those aren't supposed to be green. A 
Haunter. Crap. Hmm. I went racing up a mountain. 